Wasm. Wazi, what is the difference? Let's go ahead and make this a little bit pretty. So first things first, let's break down what Wasm is. The whole idea behind Wasm is, and I'm talking about before Wazi, we're gonna get to that in a second, but the whole idea around Wasm is aside from the, the security pieces and the performance pieces and all that stuff, the goal was right now, browsers run in JavaScript, what if you don't want to use JavaScript? What if you want to use another language? Well, then you could hit Wasm. Now, when we're talking about WASI, when we're talking about the runtime, we're talking about, I'll call it server side, okay? So what are the key things here? Well, what are the key distinctions? Well, one browser-based, okay? One server side-based. Now, what are the things that they both provide because really it's the same concept. Just one's just browser based and one's for server side. Okay, so both security, right? Performance. So at the time of recording this, they're saying I, I've seen numbers anywhere from 20 and 50% to 160% faster than a container. And the reason why is because Wazi automatically uses a scratch-like image, so it's a very watered-down version of the operating system. All right, so we got some speed, we got some security because of that same thing. We got performance. We have cross-architecture. So what am I talking about when I say cross-architecture? I'm saying you can build on an x64, so maybe you're building on a Windows box, and you can run the same binary, the same workload, on an ARM-based CPU. Now, what do I really like about this? Well, here's my take from a, you know, we'll call it community perspective. Okay, so let's say you wanna write in Python. I wanna write in Go. And another team member wants to write in TypeScript. Okay, so how does this work and what happens? Well, we all write in whatever language we want. Now this could be for back end stuff, front end stuff, whatever we're talking about here. And then what happens is you send it to the WASM compiler or the WASI compiler and it spits out a binary for you that puts all these configurations together. As in, write in any language you want, it's all gonna be compiled into the same language. Now to me, this is a beautiful thing. And yeah, you know, look, the security piece, the performance piece, the cross architecture, all really, really solid things. What I'm really excited about is this piece from a community perspective. Now this allows us to take really good developers that could be writing in all different languages and put them together. 